What's going on today, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Producer Police. Today we'll be policing some producers. Well, one in particular. So allegedly we have the producer Palace stealing beats from a longtime collaborator named Gunboy. I don't think there's gonna be too many jokes today. It seems like the main joke here is Palace. I should say everything here is alleged. So this has all transpired over the last few days, but it seems like the story is still developing anyways. Producer Palace of 808 Mafia accused of stealing beats from longtime collaborator Gunboy. Video proof of a beat Gunboy made that Palace put his tag on without crediting anyone other than himself. Page not found. Palace and manager trying to sue Gunboy for posting a about the situation. Also page not found. Originally when I saw this, I was thinking like, oh, maybe they settled it or something. Like why else would he be deleting the evidence? And it turns out his account got deactivated. Uh, I'm not sure if it was by Palace. I'm not sure if it was because he was saying things that were too far for Instagram. It's hard to say nowadays. I would assume it was maybe mass reporting or something of the sort, if I had to guess. So it seems like somebody's trying to sweep up the evidence here. And it doesn't seem like it's Gunboy because he's still tweeting about it on Twitter. Apparently being a part of the 808 Mafia means your shit is going to get stolen by them. Real Mafia vibes, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so it's hard to know exactly where this story started. I'm digging through his TikTok right now to try to figure that out. Uh, but six days ago, someone wrote, uh, I don't speak German, so uh, something about Palace here. And he has this to say. It's no stress, just like many a clown in this German music industry. He stole beats from me, sold them beats to other people and shit like that. Stole me music and sent it out to people. So lawyer, lawyers, 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 lawyers. So yeah, uh, he claims that Palace has been stealing his music and selling it to other people. Well, Beats in particular. And someone says, prove it. All right, you little dick rider. Here's me finding out a Rin song a year later he took from me. As you can see, I'm like, yo, that's my sample, bro. Uh, uh, uh. He's like, oh, okay, put your game in there with the sample. Okay, uh, uh. No, they just got caught trying to rob a nigga. It's all good. Lawyer up. So he's claiming in the DMs here that this is his sample on this uh, Rin song here. I split the fee with you. I think it was around 1K. I look for the invoice. Also, send me F address. He allegedly got caught and is trying to pay him after the fact. Wait, no, Palace did what? Don't just take my word for it. Check this out. Kind of covering it up a bit here. Something about a splice pack, 90% of the loops, not a scent. My melodies are 90% of the loop packs, didn't get a scent. Little tech melody made entirely by me, Kodak Black, exactly that. And he tried to trick me, that's why I don't stand in the credits. He asked me for the project, he thought I didn't have it. Only when he saw that I had the project did he do the paperwork, but he already had the deal without giving my name. I'm a full musician just like you. I can hear where he used my midis. I could point out a few. He would bleed if he were sued. 5% on Lil Tech uh, and 4 on Kodak Black. He just exchanged the sound. So like you guys can see, I'm not, I'm, I'm not a shit talker, all right? I'm just about truth and facts. I'm a shit talker. This whole situation is kind of hard to believe because you wouldn't think a producer that big would be doing something like this, but screenshots are there, man. Okay, we got more TikToks here. It's going to be a purely TikTok episode today, guys. Bro, this dude Palace was taking my beats and just throwing his tag on them and selling them to artists without saying shit. Sad. And here is that same exact beat, but with a palace tag on a negative OG song. Yeah. That's clearly the same melody. It's pretty obvious. Yeah, I mean, shit. That looks. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty obvious there. Can't deny that one. Okay, here now we have a TikTok of Gunboy saying uh, saying that they're threatening to sue yes. him. Uh, there's quite a lot of censored information on here, though. So Mans is trying to sue me now. You know, they're trying to say that I'm lying. As you can see here, they're trying to sue me for 2.5, and they're saying, yo, uh, they're trying to get my TikTok and Instagram taken down, you know? Even though the TikTok... His Instagram is taken down. That's crazy. Is my video proof of them taking the, the beat from me, you know, and putting his tag on it? Literally, it's video proof. They still want to, you know, play these types of games. Well, he did get his Instagram taken down. Hopefully, they don't get his TikTok taken down either. I don't know. I want to see Gumboy win in yo, this. And now because this is this is pretty fucked up man there's no reason for a producer this big to be stealing yo and now they're trying to threaten me yo what's going on this is a text from um palace manager all right you can't wow see this is on this was on august 13th i can't read german but I, i'll just have him translate for me we'll we'll take his word for it for what it says here oh right there down Bruce. 
You see, they're putting 50,000 on my head. 50,000 unta la song sclerong. That means an open budget to try and get me, bro. They putting half a, half a hundred bands on me, bro. They're going nuts. So are, is he saying they're putting $50,000 to kill him? Hopefully I'll end up with a hit on my head too. Uh, but if they, if they try to hit me, uh, my name is Steven Rob. Okay, that's my real name. I ran it through Google Translate, so this should be really fun and accurate. That's enough. Tell your guy. Now it's going to be trouble. Post is on the way. Post Malone? That's terrifying. Now he's messing with me and he'll regret it. All borders crossed. Afterwards, you're always smart and it's unfortunately too late. The biggest liar and the most ungrateful bum I've ever met. Now that's trouble. Lawyer involved value in dispute $50,000 cease and desist declaration via the district court. Okay, so it seems like it's a $50,000 dispute. I thought it was a hit on his head. So I had to ungrateful guy the same email to Gunboy. Gunboy also gets mail. If he doesn't stop, I will take the next steps. It just occurred to me I'm probably safe. I don't live in Germany. Okay, we got another beat that's uh, that's stolen from him and used by Palace. Let's check it out. Palace stole from me. Check the date, Loveland 2, 518, 2020. Get my beat. Feel thing. It's clearly the same beat there. Producer, Palace. What the fuck? Oof. What is this? What is this? It's thievery. That's what that is. It's not even. It's not even just a loop. It's it's the whole beat. Two million streams. What the hell? Damn, dude. It's not good. Songs I didn't know I produced. <laughs> you know, it's definitely you're making. He's making some comedy out of a bad situation. Definitely. Okay, we got more here. Yo, so now this guy Palace is threatening me. Duke and Denny. You see, that's his number. Basically, he's saying, yo, you reached no point and no return with the social media points. So now he, he's go going to the police and trying to support me for tax evasion, tracking my, apparently tracking my crypto wallets. Or that's what he's saying, you know what I mean? And he's trying to say that, yo, you're, you're supposed to be a landlord. Basically, just threatening a bunch of bullshit to try and, like, get at me or whatever. He's like, yo, you know, you're going to get for this and this and blah, blah, blah. So he's trying to say stealing the beat from Zabzon doesn't matter because he got no money for it. That's what he's trying to say there. And he's trying to say with Negative OG, he only got around 1,000 because Negative OG already texted me, though, and told me that it was probably 3K. Busted. And even if he could prove he edited the beat, that doesn't mean he could take the whole credit and take the whole beat like he did it. I don't know why he's trying to say that like it's an argument. But you can read it. So basically, yeah, there's... Yeah, here, guys. If I edit your beat and get a placement with it, that's my beat now. All right. Calling the cops on me because I exposed them for stealing my beat. And someone, dude, people are trying anything they can to try to, to say that gum boy is lying or something. There's so this is my computer. It's a real computer. You go here. I type in the beat. That's a real Love computer, Land. guys. You can see the visual Loveland is 518. I put Loveland 2. 518, 2020 also. You see the time, 933 p.m. I go here. All right, see, so it says save change untitled. No, look, I'm letting this just open. Look, you see? All right, so it's going to put some contact bags in there, blah, blah, blah. It's going to load up. I'm just going to keep it here while it loads up so you guys can see. It's loading up all the plugins. You see all the plugins loading up? Because I made this shit from scratch. Don't, f come on, guys. I made this shit from, come on. Like, so these aren't loops, okay? This is just the patterns bounced out. Like, you see here, here's actual pattern there's the MIDI for pattern one because I played it with my hands on these keys, bro. Now you can see how the original sounds too that I messed up because it's old beat. Here's the flute. And you see, is that's what the beat is. Okay. Um, I mean, it's kind of hard to say if that completely clarifies it. But I, at this point, I think I'm willing to believe him. I mean, because it is flattened audio. So, you know, we don't have 100% proof, but you did have the MIDIs for it. Okay. Songs I didn't know I produced part three. This is a good series. I like this series. First, check this email. Gunboy the Genius to Dennis. We know who that is. 513.19. That's, that's crazy. That's over three years ago. See, in here, there is a melt. There you go. Hesitation.mid. This MIDI, I, just, I also put the MIDI in my High Life MIDI loop kit. You see, here's that same loop. You see the same date. 513.2019. Okay. All right. Let's drag this in. You hear that? All right, listen to the beat to Big Tipper. That's definitely the same, it's the same melody on a Young Thug beat.
See, this is right there. It says email 51319. And there the thing, hesitation. So we had it. Wow. Okay. Busted again, I guess. Bro, check every beat he made. Yeah. At this point, I think it's not. It's, you could do that. That's totally, you're totally open to that. Okay, let's see. Just uh, point of view, pals trying to delete every single file we ever sent back and forth so I can't get more evidence. Thank God I backed everything up. Okay, let's see where this goes. Oh yeah, he tried to delete it yesterday. A day, well, this is a couple days ago. So this is around the time they tried to get his Instagram taken down or if they did get his Instagram taken down. If you're not guilty of something, then why are you trying to hide the evidence, you know? Yo, so they pretty much got my Instagram taken down now, all right? But it's not over. We're still gonna keep sharing information. We're still going to, they can't intimidate me. They can't stop me. If anybody can fix this, let's get it, make it happen. We can do this, all right? I'm not giving up. I don't care. They can't scare me, can't intimidate me, boohoo. This is crazy. Melodies I didn't know I made. This is an offshoot of the other series. There's another Melody Palace stole from me. And then here's his. I don't even need to make a cut. I don't even need to make a cut. Look at this. Look. There's more. I, I, I can go on forever. It's the same exact sound too. It's not just the, the MIDI. There's a mountain of evidence here, dude. This is crazy. Another one palace stole from me. Right there, four in the zip. Right there. And palace version. What the fuck you do to it? I mean, I don't know if I quite say he ruined it. I don't know. We need more. Uh, it needs to play out a little bit longer to say for certain, but it looks like it's the same thing for sure. Here's a video of palace bragging about making my beat. That's that's the face scratch of someone who stole a beat. Yo, Nick, let's get it, yo. The quiet is crazy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I like this quiet. Wait a second, I gonna change the pitches. I mean, that one's not as definitive proof, but at this point, you know, willing to give him the benefit of the doubt on anything because it seems like Gumboy's telling the truth. Okay, we got a bit more information here. Uh, Palace was taking my full credits and the money for songs and the paperwork. Thank God Genius noted my credits because I was getting zero royalties and zero credit from labels for my songs with Migos, Young Thug, Key Glock, etc. while telling me to lie to Sony about percentages. Produced by Gumboy, Palace, DJ Drool, written by Palace, featured DJ Drool, Takeoff, Offset, Quavo. Don't see him here. I'm assuming this is on Spotify or something, but it's on Genius. Bro, I got no contract for Picasso or the Key Glock song, so you got to have the percentages. You said Sony would do it, but they want it from us. Everything you don't know, write down 10%. Since Key Glock still doesn't have contracts, it's always this range because we're splitting always 25% with each other. It's only asking they want exact tell to ollie it's a little bit hard to understand what's going on here we was supposed to send invoice for y'all portion of the beat with lod and you pay him out or vice versa what might have happened is either a palace sent invoice and paperwork and didn't split his portion with you Bootmaker maker split their 50 percent drummer gets his or okay what's the rest of that one well that one's kind of cut off there but it's kind of hard to Say for sure what's happening here. I mean, I'm willing to believe uh, Gumboy at this point, though. Just he showed it a lot of evidence. You know, this is a this is an enormous amount of evidence. It's kind of hard to fake any of this amount of evidence. And the fact that Palace is trying to cover it up is not a good look. Okay, guys, that's it for this video. I'm your host, Massive Hater. Can't keep getting away with it. At the moment, it looks like he is, though. But uh, I don't know. I just want to spread the word on this. Make sure to check out my Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, second channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Incorporated.